Here is your guide as an international arrival into Bangkok's Suwanapum Airport, plus catching the 60 baht bus to Kosan Road. If you're only watching this for one part of the guide, 1 minute 37 seconds is where I switch to talking about the bus, so feel free to skip around. You may or may not have to catch a bus from the tarmac, but if you do, this is what it looks like. Kinda crammed like sardines, but hey, welcome to Asia. If you're flying into Bangkok, do keep in mind there is two major airports. There's Sawanapum and Dong Muang. And once again, this guide is for Sawanapum. So we'll just walk right into the gate, then on the screen it'll show you what carousel your baggage is on. Then we'll just follow the crowd up the escalator. Then at the top of the escalators, we have some signs telling us where immigration is. There's not much of a walk over to the immigration line, it's all pretty intuitive. So you can't really film the immigration process, but it was pretty simple, it did take a while. It took me 30 minutes from the point I got to the immigration line to get through, and I got in at 12 p.m. on a Friday. I didn't have to fill out any immigration or customs card, which was nice. Immediately after immigration, you'll come up to this huge screen, once again telling what carousel your bag's on. There's also three or four currency exchange vendors, and some toilets and a water filling station are over this way. But my bag's over this way. And after retrieving my bag, I went ahead and got a SIM card. I went with True, which is probably the most popular among tourists, and they have a few different reasonably priced options. You'll need your passport and they only take cash, but there's a few ATMs scattered throughout the baggage claim area. But I had Thai cell service in less than five minutes, so very convenient. Then we'll exit through Customs, which is on the opposite side of baggage claim from immigration. Then once we exit Customs, we'll come across this sign. Following the arrow for public transportation, we'll take a right. The arrival hall is on level two, so we'll take these escalators to the right down to level one. And once we're down to level one, we'll want to look for entrance seven. This escalator will dump us off at entrance three, so we'll walk over to the left a bit. Once you get to entrance seven, you'll cross the road and see this sign. The bus wasn't there when I got there, but this is what most of them look like. The bus is supposed to come every half hour between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m., but I had to wait 55 minutes. But for 60 baht, you can't really throw a fit. You will have to pay 60 baht in cash on the bus, as you can't make bookings in advance. The bus will take anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, depending on Bangkok traffic. I'm not sure exactly where it goes, because I showed the lady where my accommodation was and they just kind of dropped me off at a random spot by the Democracy Monument. And that's pretty much all I have for you adventurous travelers. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and either I or someone else in the YouTube community can help you out. Besides that, enjoy Thailand. It's a wonderful place and you're gonna have a wonderful time.